Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. In this evening's health report, Shamela Pullen continues to look at cataracts. Here is the second of that two-part series. Wednesday, TVJ's health report spoke with a woman who was diagnosed with cataracts in both her eyes. John McCoy Sr. did the surgeries to remove the cataracts and is now able to see. Between September 2023 and March 2024, over 500 surgeries were done on persons diagnosed with cataracts through the Cuban Eye Care Program. Still, a number of Jamaicans are waiting to get the procedure done. The cataract is it's very common in Jamaica. A lot of patients come with these conditions. It's, a cataract is a, an opacity in the lens of the eye, and it's common in patients over 60, 60 years. But it's common in patients with diabetes as a chronic disease, and diabetes is a chronic disease, it's a common chronic disease in Jamaica. A lot of patients with diabetes and with cataracts in age before 60 in young people. Risk factors for cataract formation fall into three main groups, environmental, medical, and genetic. So persons who have had a serious eye injury, taking steroids, using radiation treatment for cancer, smoking and drinking alcohol are at increased risk for cataracts. First of all, the patients uh, have blurred vision, but there, there are a lot of symptoms in cataract. For example, trouble with the vision at night, sensitivity to light, double vision, but the blurred vision is the most common symptom that may appear in patients with, with cataract. The condition is usually diagnosed through a comprehensive eye exam by an eye doctor. In the first degrees, uh, when the cataract is small, the vision may improve with glasses and we can prescribe the glasses, but when the cataract advances, we have to do the surgery. Some ways to prevent cataract include protecting your eyes from the sun by wearing sunglasses and quit smoking. With your health report, I'm Shivella Pullen wishing you good health. Yeah.